All right, if you are looking for the probability of choosing a point here in the, the black or the shaded region. Okay, so they told you that the uh, radius of the larger circle is three times the radius of the smaller one. So if I call the smaller one x, this larger one is going to be 3x. Okay. And so my probability is, again, shaded over the total. The total is easier to find. So my total area, the area of the, the whole thing, is going to be pi r squared. And what's my radius again? 3x. So if I square the 3 and the x, I get 9 pi x squared. And again, you can reorder the, the factors or the in your, any product. If I just move the 9, switch places with the 9 and the pi. And now I need to find the total, or I mean the shaded region. Well, the shaded region is the whole thing, which we just found, 9 pi x squared, minus this small white circle. What's the area of the small white circle in terms of how I labeled this? Pi times r squared. Well, r is just an x. And so when I look through this, I have 9 pi x squared minus 1 pi x squared gives me 8 pi x squared all over 9 pi x squared. And then I can cancel, cancel, and I have my probability. I have an 8 and 9 chance of choosing a point in the black. Okay, now, let me go back and talk about how you can solve this using ratios. Okay, because here's a case where what is the ratio of parts between the big circle and the small circle? 1 to 3, which means the ratio of their areas is going to be 1 to 9, 1 squared to 3 squared. So what that means is this smaller circle is 1 ninth the area of the larger circle. And so if you remove 1 ninth from the whole, what are you left with? 8 ninths. You have your answer. Okay, so if you, can, if you can solve this, or if you can understand ratios, you can answer this question almost instantaneously.